Good morning and welcome to episode five of Rapid Website Recreations. Today it's taylorswift.com. I'm going to try and go from this to this in just 30 minutes. Let's see how we get on. So I'm going to start by picking the color of the header at the top, that sort of mauve color, and I'm using the Colorzilla Color Picker, which is a free extension to pick that color. And I'm going to go and create a brand new page, which is going to become my home page. And I end up here putting the Taylor Swift video directly into this, I think I could, and I think I ended up using the cover block eventually. So now I'm going to set that home page as the home page of my website. So go to settings and reading and select that as the front page, the home page of my site. And now we've got the structure kind of set up. So I'm going to go to edit site because I want to edit that home page and here it is. So what I'm going to do here essentially is get rid of everything in this page. So I'm just going to remove the group block which has everything in it and all I'm going to do is put back the post content block. So all I'm going to be left with is the header, the footer and the post content. So I've got a nice clean page to work with. And there we go, there's my post content coming into that home page. So now it's time to edit the header. So I go template parts header. And this is the current header that comes as default with the 2023 theme. And I made the decision early on that I needed to change the layout. Now I did think about using the row block here, but I think that would have been problematic at the moment. So I decided to use the columns block because essentially the Taylor Swift header has three columns, the left hand column with navigation and a button, the middle column with the logo and the right hand column with those social icons. So now I'm going to actually start to put some content in here. I start by adding the site logo and I've grabbed the Taylor Swift logo. So I'm just going to upload that. Now I saved it as a graphic. Uh, primarily because you can actually align site logos. You can't at the moment align site titles. So I'm going to save that and upload it to the middle column and then just change the size. Now in the left hand column, I'm going to add the navigation block. So I search for navigation after clicking on the plus sign. Now I don't have these pages created, so I'm just creating them at the moment as custom links essentially. And now I'm going to set the background color of the column. So I click on the top level columns block over on the left in the list view. And then I just put in that color, which I've grabbed from the Taylor Swift website. Next up, I'm going to align things. So I click on the top level and choose align middle. And now I'm going to add the social icons block over in that right hand column. I have a quick look to see what Taylor Swift is using. And then I replicate that quickly by adding those icons. And then in a second, I'm going to change the background color of them. To change the background color, just make sure you click on the top level social icons block, and then that setting will appear over in the block settings panel. Here I'm guessing at the uh, gray color. I could have grabbed the precise color, but I just guessed at the color. Mine's slightly too dark, I think. And then the final thing I'm doing here is just to remove any margin to the top and to the bottom of that columns block because we have some white space at the moment. Now it actually turned out that that didn't remove all the margin from the top above the header. So I added a little bit of CSS in a few minutes to actually get rid of that. You'll see here there's still some margin actually above and below it. So here we go, this is where I nab the class. I'm working pretty quick at this point, so I wasn't really digging too deeply into these classes, but I sort of guessed what they would be doing. And this is where I added some CSS to try and remo remove that padding. And that seemed to work quite nicely. And then the final thing I think I did here is to change the block spacing between those social icons. So I, again, I made sure to click on the top level social icons block and then you can change the block spacing. That's the space between each social icon. 
Now at this point I realized I had an issue because I still needed to add a button next to my navigation block. So I ended up actually adding a row block within the first column. Then I could put the navigation followed by my button, as you see me doing here. So I've added the row block, then the navigation block within it, then the button block next to that, and now I'm just styling that button block. Click on the top level buttons block and you can actually add some vertical and horizontal padding to it. And there we go. That's my button next to my navigation block. But the key bit was to put it within the row within the column. Here I am just adjusting a bit more padding to get the padding a bit smaller on the top of my header. And that's a bit more like it. Then it was time for the second section on the page and I discovered something really strange here. So the way the Taylor Swift website was actually built was using graphics. So I assumed it would be text with a background and multiple elements within it. Actually each section under the top video was just a graphic and the way they handled the mobile aspect is they had a mobile graphic and they had a desktop graphic. So I thought I'd replicate this. There's a number of ways I could have done this but I actually decided to use one of our free plugins which is called Mobile Blocks which lets you have completely different content depending on whether the device is a desktop or it's a phone. Here's the two images you can see. One, the one on the left is designed for desktop, the one on the right is de designed for mobile. Here's the plugin called Mobile Blocks, which I'm just installing. You'll see I'll activate it here and then insert it into the page. And essentially you have two tabs, desktop content on the left and mobile content on the right, and you can have completely different content in each section. So here I am loading up the desktop content and the mobile content, and just making a few settings to make sure it's going to work I think I ended up here adding it to the group block so I could actually change the padding and also change the spacing. And there we go, there's the result. It seemed to work pretty well and that's what it looked like on mobile. So that kind of works. It's a really strange way to do it. I'm surprised the Taylor Swift website does it this way. Uh, but it's kind of a fun experiment to try and replicate it. I guess it's a really quick and easy way to build a site if you're just a graphic designer and you don't want to use any kind of code at all or use the block editor you can just add images and a plugin like mobile blocks to create these layouts very quickly it's not ideal though for for lots of different reasons but here we go at this point what i'm doing is just replicating that process for the rest of the page essentially because that's the way the whole page has been designed Now my time was almost up at this point, so I wanted to finish off by editing the footer. So I just went to the footer template and I made a few changes here. I added the navigation block below it. I made a huge mistake here in terms of I just overwrote the existing navigation block uh, instead of creating another menu. But there we go, we live and learn. <laughs> but essentially what I'm doing here is I'm just replicating the navigation block over on the right, the Taylor Swift footer. So I'm adding the navigation block to my site, changing the background color of the footer. And then you'll see in a second, I'm gonna add some social icons to the footer as well, in the same way I did before. Now I should have just either created those as a reusable block, or I should have gone and copied them, but I actually went off and recreated them all again, which took a bit more time. I only had a few seconds left at this point. I'm doing the normal stuff though. I'm changing the block spacing, and then I'm gonna change the background color and the icon color. And then to finish off with, I think I just changed the alignment in a second. And then I finished off by changing the padding and I think possibly the margin as well at the bottom of the footer. And here we go, here's my finished result. Mine's on the left, the original site's on the right. You can see as we scroll down, now these other sections are going to look pretty much identical because they're just using graphics so I could just literally take those graphics and put them into the editor. We go down to the footer you see I've got a little gap at the bottom which I'd want to fix up.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>